In this video, we'll be covering just about everything related to payment types in Verify. Payment types in Verify are essentially the payment accounts or methods that correspond to your income or expense transactions. These are important to be tracked for a number of reasons. The most basic reason is to know exactly how much money is moving through your accounts and when. If your company employs team members who are given their own credit cards, it's important for all their expenses to be recorded against their cards for accurate tracking and auditing. If you're using bank feeds in Verify to reconcile your company's income and expenses against bank and credit card activity, it's also very helpful to make sure all documents are recorded against their relevant payment type. This will improve the accuracy at which Verify calculates these transaction matches for you. And finally, if you have an accounting software such as QuickBooks or Xero connected to your Verify account, having payment types configured and tracked correctly will ensure that your income and expenses are sent to the appropriate purchase accounts in your accounting software. It's important to set up your payment types before you start collecting documents in Verify so the system can map your documents to your existing payment types. If you don't have the relevant payment type set up for a document when you collect it, Verify won't know what to assign and will leave the payment type blank. This will leave you with unnecessary cleanup work later down the track. If you create a payment type for documents that are already in Verify, those documents unfortunately won't automatically be assigned to that payment type at that point. Instead, you will need to assign them manually. So let's get started with setting up our payment types. First, open up the inbox submenu on the left and choose payment types. Once you're on the payment type screen, you can add a new payment type by clicking this add payment type button. Next, choose the card type, for example, American Express, given a nickname such as Andy's Personal Amex. Make sure the appropriate account type is selected and finally enter the last four digits on the card if applicable. Finally, click add payment type and your new payment type will be created. If you need to make edits to your payment types, you can make those inline by clicking on any of these underlined fields. If you have an accounting software like QuickBooks or Xero connected, you should also update the purchase account associated to each payment type. This will ensure that documents assigned to that payment type will be synced to the correct purchase account in your accounting software. If you're an admin user in Verify, you can also change the owner of each payment type. The owner is the team member who has been given the card to make company purchases. They'll be able to assign their expenses to that card. If they're not set as the owner, they won't have access to do so. They will however be able to create their own payment types and will automatically be assigned as the owner. One more thing worth mentioning here is that the data you see on this page is relevant to the filters at the top. So things like the number of documents or spend amount is applicable to the date range selected here and the date range can be applied to either the date on the documents or the date on which documents were collected. One final thing I want to mention here is that if you need to delete a payment type, you don't need to worry about the related documents being deleted along with it. Instead, those documents will simply have the payment type unassigned and you'll be able to assign a different one to them. Now that we've covered all the setup, let's take a look at actually assigning payment types to documents. Choose the Documents option from the Inbox submenu. The first thing we want to do is make sure that the payment type column is visible. And now we can see exactly which payment type is assigned to each document. In the spirit of automating as much as possible, Verify automatically assigns the appropriate payment type whenever it finds the account details on a document. Sometimes these details aren't on the document and you'll need to assign it manually. There are three ways to do this. The first way is to open the document details and then update it in this drop down. The second way is to do it directly in this view. And lastly, if you want to assign the same payment type to multiple documents in one go, select them using these checkboxes and then click on the payment button at the top here and then select the appropriate one and then confirm. In addition to these methods, you could also control payment type mapping by using rules. 
Open the settings submenu and then choose rules. Next click the add a rule button. Here we can do a couple of things. First, we could apply certain changes to documents based on their payment type. For example, for any document paid with this card, let's apply the tag personal. Or we could apply a payment type to documents based on certain criteria. For example, for any document containing the word laundry, let's apply the payment type of cash. If you'd like to apply the rule to existing documents, enable this option. And then once you're done setting up your rule, simply click Add. Now let's move on to notifications. If you would like to be notified whenever documents are collected without a payment type, you'll need to make sure you have your notifications set up to do that. Open up the settings submenu and then choose the profile. Scroll down to the bottom and make sure that documents missing payment type is turned on. Once you have it enabled, you'll be notified under the to-do bell notification. Finally, let's take a look at how we can run reports on payment type. Open up the report submenu and then select documents. Next click on create a report. Choose the appropriate date filters and file format. Then if you'd like your documents grouped by payment type, choose the group by payment type option. And if you'd like to limit the report to documents only belonging to one or more specific payment types, click on show advanced options and then select the appropriate one or more payment types. So if we were to now run this report, it would show us all documents for last year belonging to either of these two payment types and the documents would be grouped by payment types. Let's take a quick look at what that would look like. And so here we can see both those payment types that we selected earlier documents are grouped on the region. I hope this video has answered all your questions regarding payment types. If you have any questions that weren't covered or any comments or feedback, please reach out to us at support at verify.com.